It missed a year of production, but the AMG S63 Super Sedan is back in a major way, making use of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class's seventh-generation architecture. The S63 brings the glitz with more go than ever thanks to a new plug-in hybrid powertrain. Mercedes has dropped the previously offered coupe and convertible body styles and will offer the S63 as a Sedan only, at least for now. Under the bonnet sits a familiar twin-turbo V8 that, with the help of AMG's rear electric motor, now produces a combined 791 horsepower and an astounding 1055 pound-feet of torque for its all-wheel drive system to try to put to the road. To ensure the S63 can get to speeds high enough to escape rising interest rates, AMG will allow its big battery luxury Satan to reach speeds up to 180 miles per hour. As a chariot for the wealthy with maximum performance in mind, the new AMG S63 is a quick and comfy way to usher in the industry's electrified future. After a short hiatus, the AMG badge S-Class makes its grand re-entry to the prestige on wheels class using the bones from the current production Benz S-Class mated with a promising high-power hybrid powertrain. Rather than offering a tower of different trims, the S63 sedan is instead a smorgasbord of options that can tailor the car for both drivers and those who prefer to be driven. As the pinnacle performer for the brand's flagship sedan, the S63 comes standard with a level of comfort unmatched by most luxury apartments. Available carbon ceramic brakes are extra, but we wouldn't deem them necessary for everyday use. For a long time, the Mercedes-AMG Petronas F1 team has worked to develop a high-performance battery that could deliver consistent performance at the highest level of motorsports. Now folks who drive on the road bear the fruit of these efforts with the new hybridized powertrain found in the AMG S63 e Performance. The most powerful S-Class ever offered is propelled by a 603 twin-turbo V8 engine up front with help from a 188 EP motor for the rear axle. Their combined efforts produce 791 horsepower and 1055 pound-feet of torque for the Satan's all-wheel drive system to process. A 9-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, while a 2-speed transmission is integrated at the rear axle for the electric motor, handles shifting, and to help this barge of power navigate traffic and parking spots, AMG includes rear axle steering as standard equipment. We estimate that the S63 can make it to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. That's quicker than the feastiest version of the standard Benz S-Class, which took 3.9 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour in our testing. Given the massive power available to hurl it down the road, we suspect that that S63 e performance will be even quicker than its maker claims. The S63 uses an AMG ride control air suspension, AMG active ride control stabilization, and rear axle steering as standard equipment, which makes the S63 feel easy to maneuver. The S63 is a PHEV that uses a 10.5 kilowatt hours battery pack and is said to be good for about 17 miles of electric only range per charge. The onboard charger is capable of juicing the battery at up to 3.7 kilowatts, which, unlike the S63, isn't quick at all. AMG insists its shift to a plug-in hybrid powertrain which gets help from a new 13.1 kWh battery, is focused on performance instead of fuel economy. The EPA hasn't rated the new S63 e performance yet, but if the 16 Mc City and 25 Mc Highway that the Mercedes-Benz S580 is rated at as any indication, we think it's safe to bet the hybrid S63 won't return numbers that would be considered mind-blowing versus those. For more information about the S-Class's fuel economy, while the massive horsepower will warm the hearts of enthusiasts, the AMG S63's priorities include comfort. It sports an opulent cabin with distinctive AMG upholstery and stitching. A Dolby Atmos audio system comes standard and offers a 360-degree audio experience. The car's 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster provides a bright and clear roster of driving info. But the real magic happens on the standard 12.8-inch OLED touchscreen that's vertically mounted on the dashboard. Road noise cancellation and rich interior materials make the S63 an experience most only taste from limos. Headrest pillows for rear passengers and an abundance of legroom make a strong argument for the S63 as a fantastic car to be chauffeured in as well as a great one to experience from the driver's seat. Like its tamer Mercedes-Benz S-Class sibling, the S63 comes with a vertically mounted 12.8-inch OLED touchscreen with an enhanced version of Mercedes MBX software. 
This system can be controlled by touch or through voice commands from any seat in the car. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with wireless phone charging are standard.